Finally, someone has arrived! Sorry to keep you waiting, Mimuna. We've brought a Dia with us. Thank you, Kale. It's been quite some time since I've seen you, Idia. To be honest, I didn't think you'd actually show up. If anything, I thought you'd be curled up somewhere crying alone. Hey, you shouldn't be saying things like that. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be the first time Hymon's heard someone say that about Adia, though. You wanna see me cry? Fine! I'll stop crying right here! Huh? No, please don't! All right, all right, I shouldn't have said that. Now, who are these two? And Paimon is Paimon! They're reliable helpers. Lucky for you that I found them. You'd better be more careful about how you speak to them, okay? Of course. Good to meet you. You may call me Maymuna. For the sake of time, we should forego the usual pleasantries. Please follow me. Isn't it? I helped make it. What fun would a fairground be without a tent, right? Really? <gasps> Paimon knew you couldn't be so pathetic. You just act modest all the time to hide your actual abilities. Uh, huh? What is it, Kale? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure it might dampen the mood. It's not important. Please, just speak your mind. Uh, well... There are lots of vendor booths set up here, but there's no one running them. In fact, there's no one at this fair at all. <laughs> it looks pretty deserted. <sighs> the truth is, this used to be an exciting and bustling place. But just a few days ago, something happened, and it seemed like... Like... The world was suddenly flipped upside down? Yes, exactly. Something fell from the central hub into the tent and knocked down the crystal light that was hanging at the top. Oh, the crystal light. Mm-hmm. I remember a certain someone said that we should have beautiful lights to celebrate at a fair, and made us that crystal light. But once the light fell, the tent became a complete mess and the Hydro Eidolons were trapped inside. Just when I was at my wit's end, a man from the Lawrence clan came and offered his assistance. Wait, he offered to help you? Yes, and he refused to listen to any of my warnings. He just walked straight into the tent, and then... Yes? And then? Yeah! Don't leave us hanging here! What happened? And... That's it. He became trapped inside along with the Hydro Eidolons. Oh no! We have to do something! We can't just leave him there, Maimuna! I know, but the situation inside might be more difficult than you think. You should mentally prepare yourselves. <laughs> just talking about it is a waste of time. Since we're already here, let's go and scout out the situation ourselves. <sighs> All right, this way, please. <sighs> 